Welcome everyone, this is Like It's 1985, and no, unfortunately, this is not a review of Revenge of the Fallen Mindwipe. Uh, I do not have access, like some other people, to super secret uh, sellers overseas of uh, pre-release Transformer toys, uh, nor am I willing to pay the uh, outrageous prices that are asking for uh, on eBay. So, in order to tie myself over until, he's, uh, until Mindwipe is released in retail stores, we have here today... Uh, robots in Disguise, Dreadwind, and Smoke Jumper. Now, Dreadwind is a uh, repaint of Generation Dreadwing. Now, the coloring on this may not be picked up too well on this camera, but this is a dark forest green and uh, also very nicely uh, details with the translucent red here at these six points here, as well as these. Uh, these uh, vents here. You can see some red translucent uh, uh, plastic there as well, as well as in the cockpit. Uh, very nice Decepticon logo uh, three places. Now if we go on the other side here, we have a very awesome display of weaponry. We've got the, uh, the missile rack here with its six uh, missiles as well as the six uh, missiles in the wings. Uh, landing, gear here, landing gear here and here. They do spin a little bit, but they are plastic. Now, uh, the next one we have Smoke Jumper. Nice little uh, jet fighter. Uh, these wings do move, or these winglets do move uh, back and forth like that. And this guy does have landing gear. So we'll go ahead and flip that up. Now, these two do combine. Um, Basically what you do is you take a uh, smoke jumper and sort of in this area back here. Now what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to slot in and the wings are supposed to stay down, but not only in my toy but I've seen other reviews where the wings pop up. So if they pop up, that's you won't be surprised then. So we're just going to slot them in until you hear it click. And pretty good. Now one where my thumb is there. So, pretty nice combined mode, and it, of course, makes uh, Dreadwind uh, look a little more complete without the gap there. So, uh, when we come back, we're going to take a look at the uh, transformation of Dreadwind to his tank mode. Now, to bring uh, Dreadwind into his tank mode, what you want to do, there's a, a latch here. You want to just kind of free that up, and the wings will come up like that. You want to take these uh, pieces here and fold them back. Actually, you want to do that before. And what you might as well do is just get these missiles out of the way, take them out, because they're going to deploy out anyways. And uh, we're almost there. So the next thing you want to do is uh, fold up the landing gear. So you want to take this piece, it's on a kind of a hinge mechanism, you want to put that out like that and rotate it around so it's facing forward. And then there is a button right here where my tip of my finger is. You want to push that, brings out this piece here, which then should latch into place. And as you can see, there you got your tank treads. Same thing over here, latch into place, and you got the wheels on the bottom that were the landing gear, which will now serve to it has a little bit of rolling movement to it, as you can see. Um, so pretty, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a, you can consider it a, uh, it's, it's a Dreadwind's uh, third mode. Um, looks, it reminds me a little bit of the, uh, the Hiss tank from uh, the Cobra G.I. Joe Hiss tank. I don't know, just from certain angles, just the way this is shaped, and of course the tank treads and all that. So you can uh, move this around as well. So you've got that type of uh, movement. Okay, for our Smoke Shepherd, go ahead and just remove these. And what I do is bring down the legs, split the, the feet there. Now the top, what you got to do is uh, these need to be uh, forced through here.
see how that goes. Pull down, pegs into those holes there. <clears throat> And then the uh, shoulder area, there's a, it's hard to see, but there's a, you gotta snap this in place. Like that. Keeps the back secure. And he can hold his uh, weapons. Sometimes not very well. And there you have Smoke Jumper. Okay, so next up we're going to look at the uh, transformation of the uh, Dreadwind figure from tank mode into his robot mode. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and transform from tank mode to robot mode. First thing you can do is you can start by folding those in. And move this back and then we're going to unhinge these pieces here and just rotate them up like so and as you can see once you do that this this is on a hinge just kind of folds back naturally um, going back to the midsection you're going to fold this panel up here and then take uh, this section it's on a hinge so just kind of fold it in and down like so um, that uh, for the uh, what will become the legs actually let's go ahead and first do this and bring out the head here just flips up like that and uh, now we'll work on the legs there's a this pegs into right above where my finger or thumbnail is unhook it like that bring it down same thing here unhook it bring it down and then we'll go ahead and work on the, uh, the legs. Uh, so simply bring them down. Uh, and bring out the feet here. And they should snap into place. And then here there is a peg hole right there and a uh, peg. So you want to make sure they snap together sol solidly. Okay. Next thing back here. Well, actually, let's bring down the, uh, the chest piece. Simply folds down, and then bring this up. Now, as far as the uh, arms go, you're gonna bring them out like that, and then rotate down like so. Out, rotate like so. Now, the uh, should set this piece of armor should separate from the arm. Kind of tricky. You just gotta get it your, gotta get your finger in there. Uh, whatever you can do to separate the uh, the pieces there. You go too far, it'll come off. But it, the, this piece will come off. But it's easy enough to get back on. So there we have uh, Dreadwind in his robot mode. Uh, he's actually standing pretty well now. He's le slightly leaning forward. He's, he's he's pretty back heavy, so. It can be hard at times to, to uh, pose him or to get him to stand straight. This articulates like that. You can bring it down so it's straight uh, on or shooting up in the sky, I suppose. Really cool. Um, the better the two uh, uh, robot modes. Now, he can hold uh, uh, Smoke Jumper's uh, weapons as well. And I'll probably show that in a, in a photo. Uh, photo shoot afterwards. Uh, he does have light piping in his head and you can kind of see that he's pretty uh, rotund uh, uh, robot but uh, very nice uh, very nice. Okay uh, so next up we'll see kind of a slideshow 
pictures of, of a comparison between him and another uh, Transformer figure so I get an idea of, of the size.